This was not just entertainment for guests, but a creative approach to launching a new program that seeks to introduce innovative approaches to achieving sustainable development goals. The 17 United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, like no poverty, zero hunger, good health, clean water and sanitation, and quality education among others, aim to achieve decent lives for all on a health planet by 2030. But the experts say, as things stand in 2019, many of the targets may not be achieved. According to the best estimates, developing countries will need between 3.3 and 4.5 trillion a year in state spending, investment, and aid to meet the sustainable development goals. Now, the United Nations Development Program UNDP Accelerator Lab Uganda launched today is geared towards accelerating the process of attaining these sustainable development goals. What we need to deliver the sustainable goals are innovative solutions and systemic changes to respond to the complex development challenges. This is the only way we can accelerate development, and this is why we are here today to witness the launch of the UNDP Accelerator Lab for Uganda. This lab, this accelerator lab, is a new method that is more promising than previous methods in trying to implement uh, goals. This new initiative makes Uganda part of the 60 Global Countries Network of innovative and scientific approaches based on local resource solutions in the areas of deforestation, youth unemployment, climate change, and technology innovations. One such innovative approach to addressing deforestation and climate change is the EcoStove project that reduces the use of firewood by more than 70%. Even before it's fully operational, over 200 innovators in Uganda have already put in the applications to utilize the facility that will link them to other global innovators in the 60 countries. My hope for our young innovators today is that this is just the beginning and that your inventions will not only create an impact in Uganda, but on the world as a whole. So top 20 companies in the U.S. have already removed their university degree as an entry requirement for jobs. Why? Because knowledge is ubiquitous. And yet we still emphasize degrees. 85% of people coming out of my career are unemployable. Funded by the Federal Republic of Germany and the Qatar governments, it's a three years program helping countries like Uganda to achieve their development agenda faster. Jingo Francis, NTV.